Good morning, lovelies. Zoe Two Dots here with a little bit of Mail Monday. Mail Time Monday. I don't know what to call this segment because it's not really, I don't know if it's going to be a segment. I uh, basically had a whole bunch of mail come in from you lovelies over December and into January. Um, I'm guessing a couple of late delivered Christmas cards and things like that and a couple of other goodies. Uh, and I wanted to go through them on camera. I didn't want to, you know, them to just get lost at the end of other videos because there is a few of them now as well. So I don't want to just like shove them in at the end or have them get lost. So here's a quick little mail segment for you guys. So just a reminder as well, guys, I am currently away on holiday. I will not be filming or recording any of the Valentine's event uh, Pokemon Go stuff. So if you want to stay up to date with anything that I'm doing at the moment, be sure to follow me over on Instagram or on Twitter. That's where I'll be posting while I'm on holidays, but there'll be no uh, you know, current event stuff happening on the channel. Additionally, if you would like to ever send anything to my PO box as well, the PO box is here on screen or it's always in the description down below as well. So let's start, let's go chronological order. We've got this big bad boy from Lil Cat. I'm pretty sure this is some uh, sweets from Norway. So we're gonna save this to last and maybe try a couple of these bad boys. But let's see, I think there's a few in here that have been uh, kind of in the priority line. So this one, I'm pretty from, sure from Nicholas. Ooh. So cute. That's so cute. This is like so, these, like these kind of cards, like it's probably, I'm gonna guess it's probably American, but it gives me such like European Christmas vibes. Like we, it's summer in Australia for Christmas. So all of our like Christmassy cards and things are some of the, you know, the penguins and things like that, but definitely a lot of like beach Santa and stuff. So, hey yo, sweet little AR pick as well. Oh, there's two, hello. Nice one. It says, Merry Christmas, Zoe. I really like your videos and I'm having a great time playing Pokemon Go. My first buddy was Tyranitar and the Steelix and Tyranitar and the photos are from the Colossal Discovery event. Oh, nice one. Uh, and the Steelix photos uh, shows my hometown. I hope you have a great holiday season, Zoe. Sincerely, Nicholas. Thank you so, so much, Nicholas, for your lovely card as well. This is beautiful. And nice AR shots. You've got two very powerful buddies here as well. Very nice. I'm sure they'll keep you very, very safe if you're doing any of the Go Battle Leagues or any raids. These are two very strong contenders. I love it. Thank you very much for your card. And I hope that you had a fantastic Christmas and holiday season as well. Next up, I'm pretty sure is this postcard here from Fiji. It's actually been, it's been a while. I've been to Fiji twice. It's been a hot second since I've been there. I would definitely love to be back. We were actually looking up uh, potentially going there for like this holiday instead. Uh, but we, get, we just got a, a really good flight deal for Indonesia. But yo, oh, I miss Fiji. I mean, Fiji is just so lovely. And this postcard says Bula, which is hello or hi in uh, Fijian. So I only recently, oh God, your handwriting is amazing. Look at this. I'm gonna make sure there's no address on here. Your handwriting, I'm, I learned how to copy this handwriting. I only recently started playing and you've been a tremendous help. Looking forward to more content from you and wishing you an awesome 2020 uh, from, uh, from HA. So thank you, thank you so much as well for this, or HG. It looks like one of their nice G's. Thank you so, so much for this postcard. It is beautiful. Your handwriting is stunning. So, so stunning. And this postcard, I think is showing uh, Mamanuka, which is really, really cool. Uh, image three, loose coconut. I would absolutely love to be back in Fiji. Holy moly, amazing diving, lovely people, amazing food. Totally recommend it. If you ever get the chance, guys, Fiji, fantastic. And if you don't know where Fiji is, it's kind of like four hours flight off the east coast of Australia, uh, kind of like north, like it's, you know, here's Australia and oh God, how are you guys gonna be seeing this? Here's Australia, here's New Zealand. Is this the right format? And then kind of like here is Fiji, Vanuatu, Numea, Uvea, all that jazz. Whoop, next up we have a mystery letter. Ho oh, ho ho. Hey, I think this was the postcard that got lost in the mail from Rick. It arrived, Rick, it's here, it's safe. Merry Christmas and a happy new year from Rick with our AR photo that we took in the Netherlands. This was such a fun trip and I like the little, the little addition of the Santa hats. That's so, so cute. That was such a fun meetup. Hopefully we can meet again uh, over the upcoming Europe trips, the UK safari or when I'm back in the Netherlands again. Uh, wishing a wonderful December and even better 2020 to you and Alan. And of course, William and Cinnamon. Oh, thank you, Rick. That's very, very sweet of you. This is too cute. I love it. 10 out of 10. Thank you, I appreciate this. Next up, we have got a letter. We have got a letter. I wonder who it's from. Uh, let's see, ooh, proper letter. Ha! And this one is from Kazzy from the UK. Let's see. My name is Kazzy, I am a 28 year old level 40 team Valor trainer from Southwest UK. Been watching your videos and other Pokemon Go YouTubers since the beginning. Absolutely love the content, keep it up. I've been to GoFest in Dortmund, 
Uh, it's been amazing. Would like to travel there again with some other trainers in my Discord group. Hope to see you and other Pokemon Go YouTube YouTubers there, possibly. I hope you could travel to the UK in the near future, especially my neck of the woods, and I'll show you around. Well, I'm gonna guess this was possibly written... I'm gonna guess this was written before the UK Safaris were announced, so... Good news for you, Kazzy. Absolutely, sounds like a plan. I would love to come and meet up at the uh, London, uh, London, Liverpool Safari Zone. If you see me, shout out, let's trade. You've included your friend code there as well, so I will add you and send you a couple of gifts. Um, my friend list is really, really tight at the moment, so I'll probably try and hit great friends so they can save some Stardust. Uh, but otherwise, don't be alarmed if I have to remove you from the friends list. There's nothing personal. <laughs> it's working with a lot of people to do a similar thing, actually. A lot of people have been asking to for ads and um, the Patreon peeps as well. So when I send you a friend invite as well, let's hit great friend and let's do some sweet trades in the UK. Thank you so much for your letter as well. Keep it up. And lastly is this bad boy. This... I don't know specifically what's in it. I know that Lil Cat said she was going to send some mystery goodies so let's get amongst it let's open up this bag nicely so we can recycle it potentially use it for other sendings oh i'm gonna go in blind but i think there's a oh there's a card hello oh god you uh, i'm gonna guess that this is not maybe not merry christmas but or maybe it is good you maybe yule tides good good tidings got yule hello focus very sweet little christmas card here from Norway. I mean, it's probably is just Happy Christmas. I could look it up, but will I? Maybe that's on you to have some cultural learning. I'll, I'll look it up. I'll put it on the screen. So, Ian Allen, wishing you both a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in 2020. Hope you enjoy the salty candy. Oh, <laughs> hopefully it's not as salty as the young girl. That was intense. Congrats again on the 100k subs. Thank you for all that you do for the community. Aw, thank you, Kath. That's very, very sweet. You're a legend. Thank you, thank you. Huh. Now I'm mildly, not intimidated. I, if, it's, if it's like salted caramel, we good. If it's like, I don't know, man, that salted licorice. Maybe if it's fresh, when we try it, I don't know. Maybe it's just like, ha. Huh. Hey, oh, I Googled these. I remember you said you were gonna send me these. Turkisk pepper. Uh, apparently these are like hot, hot candy. Like it's hot, 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 temperature hot. Uh, potentially spicy hot as well. Um, I can't read it because it's not in English. But uh, oh gosh, is this our new like challenge video? There was the salted licorice that we did for the December Com Day. Is this going to be our February Com Day punishment? Just saying, potentially. Ooh. <laughs> These guys are so lovely. These guys are like pretty tasty. They're kind of like almost like a um a really dense Mentos or something. I don't know how to explain it. They're kind of like fizzy and good. And like that awesome like strawberry candy flavor. Oh my goodness, there's so many little goodies. <gasps> wow, this one's literally got salt in the name. Dunder salt. Well. Well then. Hey, ingredients, sugar, that's sugar. I'm gonna guess that glycose syrup is glucose syrup. Something that I don't know. Lacris. Oh God, does that look licorice? And Fargistoff, number E153. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one. i open up the rest of this. I'm gonna try one of those bad boys. Whoop. And then we've got a whole bunch of little lollipops. What are these? Oh, they're the spicy boys, but in the um in the lollipop form. Oh, for like extended suffering. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so so cool. I think I'm gonna save these spicy boys for a challenge. What do if you guys have an idea for a fun challenge besides just you know the the punish shinies and things like that for com days? Leave it in the description. Leave it in the comments down below. What would be a fun little challenge for these bad boys? Because apparently they are hot. Hot, hot, hot. So if you have any fun suggestions, go ahead, chuck them in. Okay. And lastly, let's try this. The Dunder Salt. I'm trying not to tear this packaging open so I can reseal it if needed. Oh. Okay, it smells almost like burnt caramel or like um brown sugar, like really caramelized brown sugar and salt. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no, that's licorice. Mmm. Yeah. 
That's ruined my day. <laughs> wow, like licorice in Europe must be so different to what we have here. I think it's just added salt that like. Ah. 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 Salt isn't nice salt. That's I don't know how when licorice and salt get together. They don't like in my head, salted licorice sounds like it should be fine. Maybe I just need to go find some licorice and get some salt and just try it and see if it's just like nope, it just doesn't work. The level of saltiness. And it's not like you know like salted chip where it's like, ooh, salt. It's like this is just here is salt, and then here's that like that bit in salt that's like it's all that bit. Ah. Oh. I'm like, is there something inside there that's better? Oh God. Ah. I feel like I need to just go buy actual licorice to prove that I do like licorice. <laughs> the licorice is fine. This is, um, it's like a whole, yeah, no. Comparing that to the Jungerbel, at least that one you can chew and like dispose of. In terms of taste, they're pretty similar. This one is definitely more punchy though. This one just like slaps you straight out the gate. The other one like takes a couple of seconds to dissolve on the tongue. I'm not gonna finish consuming this, Kath. You're a bad person, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, I'm really tempted to try the spicy one, but we're gonna save that. We'll save the spicy one for a proper little challenge. That's just sticking to my finger. Thank you. <laughs> if you would like to send me poison in the mail as well, the mailing address is here. Oh gosh, that is salty. Thank you, Kath, I appreciate it. And thank you everyone for sending in your fun little letters and photos and all that. I really, really appreciate it. Please don't send actual poison. Poison in the shape of weird candies is acceptable. If you have any weird candies or recommendations for things that I should try as well while I'm abroad this year, or if you wanna send some on over, let me know, let me know in the comments down below what are some interesting candies that I should try from your country potentially. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, you brought my coffee, Catherine.